Hey yo, what's cracking? I'm here to satisfy all y'all little horny needs. It's okay, I'm horny too. We all horny for this 2K20 uh, news, leaks, all that. I, I got y'all, I got y'all. But if you're new to my channel, I just ask for a few things. A like on the video. Can you subscribe? Maybe turn on post notifications? Maybe. If you don't do it now, you're gonna do it eventually. Trust me, you're gonna do it eventually. And uh, just follow me on Twitter, keep up with me. Something like that. But look, we about to get into this. Now, it's a whole bunch of stuff we got to cover, y'all. It's a whole bunch of stuff I found out today. Y'all might have already knew about it. Y'all might know about it already. But I'm just here spreading the knowledge. I'm, I'm sharing the wealth. That's what, I, that's what I do. That's what I do. So, look. I got information on player builds. Uh, the, the last trends. You know everything new that they added to the game. How OP it was and all that. Builds. All that. Let's get into this junk. Man, this update just interrupted my whole edit. Word around the street is from Mo to Mo. They saying that Annoyance said we got the same uh, neighborhood from 19 going into NBA 2K20. Now, look, I know that don't sound, you know, it don't sound too good. But it's just, I'm trying to give you as much information as I can. Like I said, I'm trying to share the wealth. I'm trying to share the knowledge. It may not be true. It may be true. But we all saw that video and it looked like Ahmad when he was showing, when he was walking around the neighborhood and it looked exactly the same. Might be true. I'm just saying, keep an eye out. Make sure you know. Do some research on your own, too. All right, so boom. We're about to get into all this. I'm about to talk to y'all about uh, these female players, uh, these player builds, everything that's about to be OP in the game and what's going to kill the game. So we're going to start with this first. Y'all remember in 2K18 how they had that article and it was talking about snatchbacks and the blow buys, how that was being new, adding to the game. And then how in 2K19... Um, we got the hop steps, the euro steps, how post scorers take over. They got these new animations, how lockdowns, they got, uh, they worked on defense more. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, do you guys, do you guys notice everything new adding to the game is dumb OP? Everything new, everything new adding to the game is OP. OP as hell. Now, the only reason I can think it's OP is because it's brand new, so they don't know how overpowered it is. That's the only thing I can think of. But I just want y'all to keep that in mind. So all the new details that I'm sharing with y'all from the article that's coming from Mike Wayne himself, just keep that in the back of your head when you're when you're playing the game, when you're about to make a player. Like they're working on defense again. Ronnie was on. He was Ronnie was streaming and he said it himself. He was like, "There's there's not a lot of uh, locks in the in the uh, neighborhood. I feel like locks need a buff." Nigga, that's cap. I don't even think Ronnie played the damn game. But if he's saying that, that should be telling y'all something. That, and they already had a, uh, in the article, you're going to see, they were already talking about adding, implementing new things in the defense. So that means defense is probably going to be way more overpowered than it was last year. They're adding a whole bunch of stuff in for slashers, new animations for slashers, uh, new badges for slashers. They were doing a lot for slashers. Mike Wang already said it himself. Slashers are a little bit overpowered, but they're going to be working on that before the game gets released. Now... With that being said, there's also new animations and stuff coming in for dribblers. So we got new badges, new things to do. And oh, the thing that was overpowered as well last year that was brand new into the game was crabbing. Crabbing will be back in NBA 2K20, y'all. I got the tweet up here from an NBA E-League player. He was the one that was also playing the game early, so this is a reliable source. He said it's still in the game, but it's not as overpowered as it was last year. You can actually get in front of your defender, and it's not impossible to get in front of him. All right, so let's talk about these female players. We already know they're in the game. We saw the trailer. I had it in the beginning of the video for y'all. But we all know we can play with females. But the question, the main question is, can I play with a female in the park? Can I play with a female in pro -am? Can I play with a female in stage? And I'm going to keep it a beam with y'all. I don't think so. Because if you think about it, a female cannot honestly keep up. A WNBA player cannot keep up with an NBA player, bro. If we're being the bean. So every 2K, they want to be realistic as possible. So if they do that, we already know it's not going to be uh, female players, WNBA players dunking, getting contact dunks on NBA players. We already know they're not going to be shooting from distance like NBA players. We already know they're not going to. I'm not going to hold you, bro. All the WNBA players look the same, bro. Like all their animations look the same. Like in IRL, all the WNBA players, they got the same jump shot. They all wear the same accessories. They all got the same animations, bro. They all move the same. They all run the same. I'm not trying to be, you know, I'm not trying to be like that, but I'm just, I'm just being a hundred. So do I think WM, you'll be able to play with a WNBA player in the park, a playground, or a stage program? I don't think so. But then again, who knows? We we'll have to see when the game comes out. It's a lot of stuff that comes into factor. But then with 2K being a company and coming from the business side, 
why wouldn't they? Because it will kind of be what? What they call it? Discrimination? They got them in, if they got them in play now, how come they don't have them in, you know what I'm saying? How come they don't have them in a uh, pro-am or park? But like I said, who knows, bro? Who knows? We all know they're in the game, though. I don't really want a female player. I want a thick player. Like Kyle Lowry. I want a thick dribble guy. Like Kyle Lowry. Now we on to the next topic. Alright, now this is what really caught my attention. From reading this, it says, per blog, per the blog, here's a list of ball handling styles. So, they say in all there's 27. Gamers will also be able to choose from these selections when building their player in my career. So what they're making it seem like is there's like kind of like archetypes, like there's dribbling styles. That's fire as hell. You got base, big, power, fundamental, quick, slasher, shifty, James Harden, LeBron James. I don't really care about none of that. I just care about the first few. What really caught my attention was shifty. Now I'm guessing shifty will be like a uh, like a Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving, Allen Arson. Now let's just say Kyrie and Allen Arson. They were shifty guards, like shifty ball handlers. So they're making it seem like we have different styles of dribbling dribbling archetypes that, that that's really cool now something that really caught my eye is this right here the most elite hand ball handlers seem to have a pl i dropped out of college i don't know what that means of dribble moves at their disposal hmm so like i was telling y'all we got a lot a lot of animations y'all so if i was you when we get into that prelude you gotta be in that mod because they they kind of said we got we might be in the mod court to or we can practice our dribbling you know stuff like that it's a lot of stuff that we can do during this demo or prelude so that's all i can advise you you know find your build find your niche find uh all your combos all that because this year the dribbling is going to be with the left stick yes i don't know how that's gonna work out i don't know if that's if mike wayne said it wrong but he said a lot of the dribble is gonna be with the left stick now i don't know how that's supposed to work when we move with the left stick and we do most of our moves with the right stick i have no clue what that's supposed to mean but if it's really that case and if that's really the case and it's too difficult for me i'm gonna just change my button layer i'm gonna make the left stick the right stick and i'm gonna make the right stick the left stick and also let's look at this screenshot right here if y'all want to pause the video but basically he was saying that there's this move like the quick first step and all that but he said that it will, you know, drain your stamina. So I'm thinking that stamina is going to be another problem again for dribblers. But like I said in the previous video, we'll just have to find out because we do have a badge that lets us combo. And I also, after reading the, uh, this whole article, Mike Wang was saying like, you're, you start fumbling the ball and all that if you mess up a combo. So I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how the hell they they uh, chain these moves together. Like they, like they know what moves we want to do. And I don't know how how they determine if we mess up a combo. So maybe I have no clue what he means by that. So I don't think he means, you know, if we're at it, like we run out of stamina fast. So there's no guarantee that we'll be running out of stamina fast other than the fact that when Swante asked him the question, he still beat around the bush. He didn't even like directly answer the question. So with him basically not answering that question about dribbles having more stamina, I don't think they implemented that into the game. But then again, Mike Wayne did say, so it's important this year to pick and choose when you want to explode with your first step and not abuse the sprint trigger all game long. If y'all know, most of the moves we had to do last year, you had to hold R2. To momentum, you gotta use R2. Uh, to spin back, R2. A lot of the moves that we do, you have to hold R2 so you can, you know, if you want a fast animation, you got to hold R2. If you don't want the fast animation, you don't hold R2. So that might kill stamina. That might be an indicator right there that stamina may be a another killer again this year. But at the same time, he was talking about your first step. So like I said, man, these dudes, these devs, man, they know what they're doing. They're good at their job. Like I told y'all all the time, they just trying to sell the game. They know, they know what we want. They know what we want to hear, but they won't tell us. So they, <laughs> they, they good at they got damn job i'll tell you that and then we got some other screenshots right here before this video uh, wraps up mike wayne was talking about green lights he said he knows he knows how much we love customization all i want is the shirt kiosk all I, that's all i want but he was saying that our shot meter is now customized we can have a green flash splash or a splat effect he also said there's almost close to 80 badges in the game but like i told y'all yesterday in the, uh, from the previous video my main concern is how many badges are we gonna have it's a lot of new badges they added into the game we got 80 badges with so many archetypes and i just want to know how they're gonna determine what badges we can and can't have 
it's a lot of stuff going into these badges and you know, if they're new they're, there's gonna be some that's op there's gonna be some cheese with uh most of these badges probably since they're brand new it's a lot of stuff to take into consideration and then the final screenshots of the video they basically talk about how they uh reprogram re-archetype the whole layups and dunks mechanics and all that i think that's gonna be probably a little cheesy because it's brand new just like how they said they were working on defense for 2k19 and defense was dumb op so we'll see how that comes out uh if you made it to the end of the video drop a kmd or kmfd in the chat for me and uh also like the video subscribe and turn on post notifications and stay tuned for the next upload y'all i got y'all with a whole bunch of info i can't even tell y'all when i know i'm gonna try to get as many videos out as possible but i don't want to cluster y'all so uh yeah keep an eye out